Amen. Atong pakpakan ng ginoo. You know, um, few years ago, we started the ministry at um, Tahanan ng Kabataan. Unsan siya? Kanang, it's a juvenile uh, it's a juvenile marag, unsan na siya? Detention center for the juvenile delinquent. Mga underage nga criminal. And we were doing a profiling and nitabang ko, ang mga nurse akong gi-assign ato. Akong gi I remember si Melanie to. Akong gipulihan. Ako na sad. So, ano mga questions dito? So, ang first question, I, I, I think I was in interviewing a six, grade 6, ano say, pila yung dadana? Chair. 12. 12 years old boy. And akong gipang, ang first nga question kay, taga-asa ka, taga Don Carlos, 6 years old, oh, 12 years old. Murag, tulo o pat katuig na siya diri sa kagayan. Aman siya, aman, aman kagapuyo diri sa kagayan. Nara siya sa street, galakaw-lakaw. So, gapangawat mo nang nadakpan na priso. And I told him, giyon sa ni og abot diri sa kagayan. How did you get here? They just, um, they were stow away. Kung si stow away sa Bisaya. Namukong, namukong sila, namukong sila sa bus. With two of his friends. I don't know how they missed the conductor or the driver, but somehow they got here in Cagayan de Oro. And for years they've been here, running the streets, surviving in the streets and I told him why didn't you go back to your home Muni ang ingon it broke my heart ingon siya ako ang pangutan na asa imong papa una ingon siya nga na priest akong papa unsay sala sa imong papa girip niya akong ate and after several interview with these boys, I keep hearing the same stories. Father issues. 90, 80 to 90% of people who are in prison have father issues. Let me repeat that. That's worldwide statistics. Huh? 80 to 90% of inmates, kanang mga nangapriso, criminal. 80 to 90 percent, okay, they have father issues or parental issues. Meaning, if a nation has good fathers, we don't need prison cells. Amen? No wonder in the last days, the Lord said, I will send the prophet Elijah. And his job, this the spirit of Elijah, the job of this spirit is to turn the hearts of the father to the children and the children to the father. Because when the kingdom of God comes, the kingdom will need godly fathers. Amen? Now, I want to share to you, right now in America, their nation is in danger. And there has been a systemic destruction of the family since the 1960s or maybe even beyond. In the 1960s, they took away prayer in school. Gibawala na sila. The United States is a Christian nation. They took away prayer in school. And there are, there, the, the United States is a very... Um, um, Christian nation that every classroom then had the Ten Commandments above their um, green boards. In the 1960s, they took it out. They took out prayer in school. They took out the Ten Commandments in schools. And then, 
Ten Commandments pa gyud ba? Grabe ka relevant karon nga panahon. Kabalo gyud ang enemy unsay tang tangon. And then they limit the authority of the parents to their children. Gibawal nila ang spanking. Bawal mo bunal ito kung bunalan niyo yung mga anak, priso ka. Ano yung sa Proverbs? Spare the, chi- spare the rod and spoil the child. And then, they legalize divorce during those times. And then, they legalize, I think in the 1980s or 70s, they legalized abortion. Kanilang, kanilang. These are just a few. And lo and behold, one generation later, they have a generation who's so rebellious that if they're upset with the government, they will burn their cities. That's, what happened, that's what's happening right now in the States. Because they raised up a generation of spoiled brats who do not know, who do not acknowledge any authority. And if you look at the politicians of the United States, na ay mga politicians nga ang ilang platform is they are strong in supporting abortion, they are strong in supporting same-sex marriage, the, the gay lifestyle, um, unsa pag yun? Kano mga wicked nga lifestyle na never been taught before in the United States? But because there's a generation that's demanding this kind of lifestyle, abortion is my right. I just want to have sex without the baby. And if I get pregnant, I have a right to do, I, I have the right to do whatever I want with my body. I, I, I have the right to kill this baby. Naanay mga voters dito sa Amerika nga kung dili ka for abortion, I will not vote for you. That's why there are politicians, part na sa ilang platform, abortion and same sex. You run for office, in any office in the Philippines and make that platform. Zero ka dere. Hello? That's why right now in the United States, they have whole generations so rebellious that they want to defund the police. They want to get rid of their police. Well, Dinis Ato, you shout that, di Bob. <laughs> they, want, they don't want the police. Why? Because they grew up without authority, without acknowledging any authority. That is the generation of the, um, the, the United States right now. Praise the Lord in the Philippines. I can still spank my children. Praise the Lord in the Philippines. There's no uh, divorce. And because of the systemic um, destruction of the family in the United States, after several years, the church has become weak. Okay? I'll show you a statistics of ministers, struggles of ministers. Mga pastor na yung nastragula sa Amerika. 90%, I think, naapod na din sa Philippines, pero dili ni siya, Amerika ni siya ng statistics. 90% of the pastors report working between 55 to 75 hours per week. Ambot, tagpila na kadaad law, divide daw ba kung 6 days a week. 80% believe pastoral ministry has negatively affected their families. Many pastors' children do not attend church now because of what the church has done to their parents. Ang mga pastors nahago sa simbahan pero wala na time sa mga anak. 33% state that being in the ministry is outright hazard to their family. Sa gabal ang ilang sakto ba? ministry sa pamilya. Next please. 75% report significant stress rated crisis at least once in their ministry murag tinuod na sa ako 
90% feel they are inadequate trained, in, inadequately trained to cope with the ministry demand. 70% say they have lower self-image now than when they first started. 70% do not have someone they consider as a close friend. I hope na ako'y close friends dire. Wala day, wala ni amen. Next slide, please. 40% report serious conflict with a parishioner, members, or at least once a month. Wala man siya kayo ka-conflict din eh, no? Nag-settle naman ta ba? Wala yung... <laughs> Nasil group leader na sila. 33% confess having invoked inappropriate sexual behavior with someone in the church. 50% have considered leaving the ministry in the last three months. 50% of the ministers starting out will not last five years. Whoa. Five years lang ang lifespan sa mga pastor. Pada yun. Kay labad naman ang mga membro. One out, one out of every ten ministers will actually retire as a minister in some form. So one percent lang ang mo survive. Okay. Ninety percent of clergy families will be will feel the pressures of the pastor's ministry. 66% of church members expected, expect a minister and family to live at a higher moral standard than they. Whoa. Sige down. The profession of pastor is near the bottom of a survey of the most respected professions, just above a Carl salesman. Boy. <laughs> Ang pagtanaw daw sa mga pastor kay gamay... Taas lang gamay sa Carl Seisman. In Korea, ang sa una, a few years back, I don't know now, wala pa ko update, sa Korea, mas labaw daw sa doctors and attorney ang mga pastor. I heard one general, kuno, nakita niya ang pastor sa iyang asawa, and the general is not even a Christian, nakita niya ang pastor sa iyang asawa, na sa, sa merkado, ni bao daw ang general. Inana ka respeto ang mga pastor dito, respetado ang mga pastor dito. Mga dato da, si Jiwon, wala man si Jiwon dire no. I hope she will not listen. Anak ko siya. Nganong <laughs> Nganong wala daw koy kwarta na pastor man ko. <laughs> Tagalain ka nga country day. <laughs> Kaysa sa sa Korea mas taas lagi ang doc mas taas ang pastor sa doctor o attorney. Pag abot niya din eh, teenager, siya ang galibre sa amung kaon. No, ama kay kwarta. <laughs> Remember, kato miga? Over 1,300 pastors were terminated by the local church each month, eh, many without cause. Uy. Many denominations report an empty pulpit crisis. They cannot find ministers willing to fill positions. Tagana dili gusto magpastor. Kinsay gusto magpastor dere? Wala. Ako po, dili po ko gusto magpastor. Anis lang. Four years ko nagkisikising. Dili ko Lord, dili ko Lord. Pero, iya manggit kong gitawag. So please, pray for me. <laughs> Next slide, please. Number one reason for pastors to leave the ministry. Church people are not willing to go the same direction and goal of the pastor. Tinood yun na. At to tadid to, hindi li may pastor, sila lang. Hindi <laughs> na Pastors believe God wants them to go in one direction, but the people are not willing to follow or charge. Statistics provide, this statistics is from the Fuller Institute or the George Barna and Pastoral Care Incorporated, 2006. This is not even updated. Why are the pastors having so much hard time ministering to the people? This is the setting in America. I'm telling you, because of the systematic destruction of the family, labad na kayo ang mga tao. I'm telling you, na-observe na mo sa akong wife, Nga ang mga batanon, katong nga born again, prior sa 2010, diha ni kusog ang Facebook. Mas rebellious sila. Katong beyond 2010, mas rebellious. Katong sa una, 
Wala pa nag-2010, wala dili pa uso. Friendster pa mi, besh, Friendster. Katong mga Friendster generation, mas sayon-sayon pa sila i-minister. And we had never had so much headache until beyond 2010. Ang mga problema nga among encounter after 2010, nagngangagid me. Sometimes we go home with my wife and then we just look at the the ceiling. <laughs> Hinoktok yun mindo. Wala, wala na magituyo. Parera din mi. Naginuuno na ma. Hala, grabe ba? Ang among mga problema kay problema sa laing tao. Because, ah, unsa na lang ka ang mga pastors sa Amerika, no? Munang nigamay pod ang ilang message. Kay dili na compete sa wickedness sa ilang generation. Now, all this because of father issues. And this is what we're going to be talking about tonight. Let me just get this so let this let me go through this quick. Okay, wala na time. Next slide, madam. Naamo gitagaan mo ani ni Cheryl. Hala na limtay niya. Oo, oh, nangyari ko ganyan. <laughs> Yata siya pa sa iloon. <laughs> nalingaw rin siya siya paminaw na ako. I hope to nalingaw siya paminaw na pa tayo. Okay, sige. Nalingaw siya paminaw. Praise the Lord. Being our objective today is to be established in the Father's love. We will have a hard time understanding how much the Father loves us. All of us have this problem. You know why? Because we all have earthly fathers and our earthly fathers has a lot of shortcomings. Sige ko gunoon na ba? Ganina, while worship. Sa anig binisaya? Di gina ako mabinisaya. Samot na in English. Sa anig nakalimot. Di gina ako masulti ba? Charid. Unsa ang pinaka maayo nga na, na experience ni mo sa nagibuat sa usa ka tao. Nagets na ni, nagets niyo kung point. What is the kind the kindest or the na word nga goodest? <laughs> the kindest thing that a person has ever done to you that left you amazed. Can you name a person? Kanang nakahilak gid ka kita ako sa na Syrian nga gapangatag og kwarta sa YouTube kita mo ana niya gitagaan niya ang gapamaligya og 100,000 pesos. Kay namdam mo ato? Iya din gisundan, nagkurug-kurug, gisulod niya sa bag ang 100,000 pesos, gakurug-kurug, ni uli, paspas kay sikad sa iyang, iyang, kita mo na? Ang gapamaligyag utan, gipalit niya ang tanan niya utan, gipihatag niya ang 100,000 pesos. Siya may di, first time siya ito nakahawid o 100,000, gakurug-kurug siya. Dawat siya katuo. Huh? The Lord is saying, you will experience the, the, the awesome kindness of God in this season. Amen? Do you believe that? The kindness that you've never experienced before, if you grasp this revelation of the Father. Now, our... Objective is number two to deal with our father issues and to release forgiveness to our earthly fathers. Earthly fathers na siya. Next slide, madam. Ginsay na issue sa papa dere. Sige na, sige na, sige na. Ginsay na issue ay kaw lao. Ang wala nagpataas o kamot mga bakakon mo. Kita tanan, lai lai lang of degree, right? We all long for a father. Amen? Ingon si Thomas Wolf or Wolfie. <laughs> the deepest search in life, it seemed to me, the thing that in one way or another was central to all living 
was man's search to find a father. And let me add to that, a good father. Prager said, the greatest privilege of a person is to have a good father. Hello? Not necessarily a perfect father because no, no earthly father is perfect. If you have a good father, regardless of your status, you are one of the most privileged person on earth. And here in these sessions, in these coming days, we are introducing you, our Heavenly Father. And if you grasp this revelation, I'm telling you, you are more than privileged. You are so, so blessed if you catch this revelation. Next, madam. The heart of God our Father. This is love. Not that we, he, we love God, but that He loved us. Okay? And sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for sin. Now, Jesus was the greatest and most precious I don't know if he is pos possession. Yes, someone see Jesus kang father. The greatest treasure of Jesus was the greatest treasure of the father. And yet, he gave his son for you and me. Wala na ilain nga pinaka precious kang father God. But Jesus, his son, one on, only begotten son. And he gave Jesus to us. That's how much God loves us. And there's this verse na gingon, nga if He gave Jesus to us, how much more for anything? Amen? Our God, our Father, loves us with a real and unfailing love. And there's going to be a release since last Friday, there's a revelation that the goodness and the revelation of the Father will manifest in this season. Okay, we already have a revelation of Jesus Christ, the Redeemer. We already have the revelation of the Holy Spirit. The gifts of the Spirit. And in this season, okay, you are, we are going to experience the goodness of the Father. So expect good things in this season. Amen? Next slide. But the problem is, okay, ang problema dahi, kajit lang, we have a distorted view of the father because of our earthly fathers. Now, ang, ang meaning daw sa prodigal is, gausik-usik, morning ingo ni Jong, sakto ba ka Jong? Wala eh, laing binisayaan ng prodigal, usik-usik, yod. Urus-urus, gawas-awas. Anyway, it's English. One who spends or gives lavishly, recklessly extravagant. In this sense, we have a prodigal son, extravagant and reckless, spent his inheritance, and a prodigal father with a lavish and extremely extravagant love. Grabbing a superlative, no? Extremely extravagant pa. Unsa mana? Sobra, sobra. Beyond your imagination. You know, God has blessed us, me and my wife, and then, pag uli na mo, magnanami, dili, dili may katingog. One time, I found her, ga, gahangad sa, gahangad sa bintana, gahilak. <laughs> Literally, nanay mong hilak ni ga, sorry ha. <laughs> and wala siya naghilak, kinasakitan siya. Nahilak siya, kaya tungod, grabe, kaayo siya. Kagabi, ka, kamaayo ang gino. Naka-experience na mo, anak. You will experience that. <laughs> Magluhod na ka, magligid-ligid na ka, magtanang ang mga tao sa mo, grabe mong problema. Dili day because of great joy that you have experienced from the Father. Nanay na kainana sa inyo nga tao. Wala agad ko na kainana pagsugot ni Majo sa ako. Wala. Ma? Pag ingon ni Majo nga, I love you to, wagin ko na, salamat. Wala. Ang ginuura, gay makaina. If you have not experienced that, I'm telling you, you have not yet understood how good our Father is. And I've experienced that several times. Nanimbarot akong balibo kay may experience sa sada na ako, excited na ako. 
Next slide, please. <clears throat> Despite the son's greed and selfishness, his father showed his love and forgiveness by giving to his son his inheritance. Okay, continue. Now, these are the symptoms. The symptoms of father issues. If you have this, okay, naa kay father issue. Do you not feel truly at rest in the loving father? Ano na daw? Kanabitang kabalo ka nga naa kay heavenly father. Pero pag mata ni mo sa buntag, gabala ka, gyapon ka. Ah, sa mga kumangitag pangwarta, ani? Ha? COVID. Magmasta. <laughs> Wala ko naging hubo ninyong mask, ha? Kaya na, pa- follow protocol ang gyapon ta mga besh, pero grabe ang imong ka, you are overwhelmed with fear. Okay? Wala kay comfort, wala kay rest. Yung mga tana, na yung mga tana sa'yo mo, Uy, kamusta man? <laughs> Adlok ko. Ay, kanya kung cellphone mo, text na nag-iya? Na yun, ni, ni text na ako ba? Ingon siya nga, Okay, Rami Pastor, pero nahadlok misa na nga ita ba? Akong itanong akong cellphone. Ang akong cellphone, ni text. Kauban sa church. Ingon siya, How are you? <laughs> Ya complete git ba ang kada word bitaw how are you Christian Mark di mangi kuinan ni mag text so ni reply pud siya mato yang git text na balaka daw siya anyway number two, are you a mature <laughs> concern kay akong sir concern kay ang akong cellphone sa inyo no na, dapat na agit mo sa akong phone book are you a mature church leader caught up in works as a cover up meaning you're a Christian pero You you don't think accepted by the Father unless you perform. Okay? Or you base your your acceptance of the Father by your attendance in church, by your attendance of of um sitagani prayer meeting. Or oh, okay na koron kay naka naka nakabuhat na ko sa akong devotional. You know, you can be legalistic with your devotional. Ah uh, There will be many people who will be rejected by the Lord and yet they do their devotionals. They are so religious in their devotion and they will base their acceptance to the Father with how they do their devotionals because that's how they were taught in church. Dapat ka mag-devotional, i-check up na ko na. Diba? Kami sa kong asawa, dili man nga kada alas city, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. miga, mag-storya ginta ha? Magstorya ta. Na, 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 na. Okay, na. Paguman, dilit na din may magstorya the whole day. Ugma. Ah, this is my time. With... Relationship is not like that. Right? Don't treat devotionals like that. It's supposed to strengthen your relationship with the Lord. Anyway, question number two. If you have these issues, you have a symptom of not really understanding the love of the Father. Number three daw, madam. Do you have areas in your life that you cannot fully trust Him to meet your needs? Needs, ha? Huh? Need bang uyab? <laughs> Need bang food? Ah, yes. So, Kung ga problema ka asa mangita og food you have father issues By the way this is heavenly father issues or this could be Oh yeah this is heavenly father issues because of our earthly fathers ang root gyapon ani Do you still struggle with some type of fear Okay kinsay na symptoms ani o pat pataas ka mot Ang mga wala nagpataas bakakon We all struggle with this. Okay? Again, the root cause of this because of our earthly fathers. Padayon, madam. Now, 
our earthly fathers have failed to mirror, mirror God's fathering. As a child, we have no concept of God. Amen? Can say, pagkatao ni mo din, paggawas ni mo, pagbunan sa doktor, praise the Lord! Yan na din ka, or nagtangs ka, we have no concept of God. Kabalo mo kinsa atong God? Si Mama. Yeah. Mama is comfort. Mama is survival for the baby. Right? Huh? <laughs> My little girl, Tutti. And tawag niya sa iyo, Mama Tutti. Tutti is breast para sa iya. Ang ba't ano rin nakuha? Tutti. <laughs> And then after three years old ko no, ang significant one sa bata, from the mother, mo shift na sa father. The fir our first God is our parents. And then, supposedly, our parents, our fathers, introduce us to God. Praise the Lord, I am blessed with a good father. Not good, good father, just a good father. And I rely, I rely to him almost with uh, about anything in my life. Tingala ko, de, unsa yung meaning ani? Matubag niya. Ka grabe ako ng papa ba? All knowing. Honest, mo gina ko na ona. Pag abot na ko high school, tingala ko nga. Ka gadiri man ako ng papa. Nya niyo na ako ng papa agay. Murag, magtuon na gig ka og practice o imong ka o galingon na ron. Kaya dili na nako matubag ang uban ni mong pangutana sa mat. Wala, nabala ka ko. Di, di ni all knowing. And then, praise the Lord, at high school, I met my Heavenly Father. So, naanagi din ko'y batasan nga mga utana. My, God, my dad is not a perfect dad. Grabe siya, failure. Nagapon ko issues niya. Kamaamot na lang to. Now, these are, this is how earthly fathers are. Nana, dire. Performance-oriented father has a high standard and demands that are not tempered with affection and affirmation. Tanawa si Michael Jackson. Di ba? Wala na, wal, nanawag na akong earthly father, oh. <laughs> Sorry, father. <laughs> Kanang, ano ganin ko? Michael Jackson. Abot niya o 20-30, nagbuhat siya o playground si Embalay. Kaya nga naman, waan na satisfy ang iyang childhood. Kaya sa iyang childhood, strict na kay ang papa, puro na good practice, practice, practice. Tabaga good si father. <laughs> okay? Performance-oriented, has a high standards and demands that are not tempered with affection and affirmation. Okay? Sana mo itong, tadayin daw, madam. Lagi na lang yung mali ko nakikita, ginawa ko na lahat, kulang pa rin. I'm only accepted for what I can do and how will I do it, how well I do it. There are fathers like that. Next slide. Ito na yung dali on. A distorted image of a father. Absentee father. They can be good fathers, good providers, pero wala diha. Money sila ang mga nasa OFW. Okay? Or, pwede nga, naa sila diri sa kagayan, pero wala'y time. Puro na trabaho, trabaho, trabaho. Dad, kung siya mong gusto, taga-kwarta. Huh? Kada liyok, kwarta, kwarta. Kwarta rin pa liyok. He is, he is not present when the children are growing up, either physically or emotionally. Next slide. Irresponsible father does not provide for the family's needs. 
na ako'y nadunggan sa isa ka testimony sa usa ka pastor, na na siya, kada buntag ko no, iyang namatan, sa bata pa siya, mukhaon na niyang papa, mura daw, isog daw yung papa, no? Pobre man sila, so unahon daw pakaon ng papa. Kung unsay mabilin sa ilang papa, mura din ilang kaon nun, paglakot sa papa, ay sila mong kaon. Dili man nila na nga kung papa, oy. Kabalo mo, siya ako nadunggan sa kung papa, sa bata pa mi. Nadunggan na po din ako sa lain tao, din siya. Nag-ingon daw nga kung papa siya, bahalag magkaon siya, glamaw, basta kay, gwapo daw ang gisa, suot sa kong mga anak. Wow. Wa ba siya nakakaog lamaw po, praise the Lord. Pero grabe ang iyang declaration ba? Pero ako itong girebuke. Ba? Pada yan. Unfaithful father. Kisa na si Robin? Wala, naalagi si Lenny diya. Si Lenny nang nasa upper left. Lenny Robredo, anong namo siya? Anyway, kabalo naman siguro mo ang say unfaithful father. Right? Na mga papa nga, inana. Pada yun. Uy, dali, 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 dali. Dili man ako nagbota na ang slide. <laughs> you can manisa. Authoritarian father. Nakalimot ko, ilis dan nung tanah ko to. Dahil i-blur. Kung saan man si pastor? Uy, nga nung kaniman ka picture ang gibutang. Authoritarian father, a legalist. He majors on truth and the letter of the law but has little ability to express love and compassion. Isog. Disciplinarian. Pero dili mo yung unug, I love you, dili mo hug. Pada yun. Abusive father inflicts deep emotional pain by means of one or more verbal, physical, or even sexual abuse. Nako'y nadunggan nga bata, papa, nadakpan siya, kaya iyang gilabdan ang iyang anak. Ang iyang tubag, maunio, may na lang ako makauna kay Salain. Sino papa, oy? Pada yun. Jesus received His Father's love. Next, ma'am. Now, the cross. We're gonna be talking about the cross. But before we go through that, kinsa ang nakita ninyo din niya asa ang inyong papa? Katong mga, Nadia, oh? Performance-oriented, absentee, irresponsible, unfaithful, authoritarian, abusive. Kinsa ang naay isa lang kakwalita ina na ang papa? Or kaning unum na asa iya? Yes. Yes. Six. Five. Two. Ayan, 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 ayan. Unya, I just look at your face right now. One. Two. These are the person that really hurts us the most. Because We expected them to love us, to care for us. Pero most of the time, guys, dili po din nila sala. Kaya sila po mismo victim of their of our lolos. So kung unsa ilang nadawat, inanak po ta. Inanak po ta nila. So it's not their fault. Now, the the reason we're we're gonna be talking about the cross is we need to forgive our fathers. Kabalo mo na ako y na ako y gikonsiling ba? Sixty kapin naman siguro siya. Yung bata pa ko ato, bata bata pa ko in my twenties. And then gahilak siya, gahilak siya. Kay tungod na hinumduman niya, sa six years old pa siya, nahilabtan siya, gihalokan daw siya sa lips. Dili ganito sa iyang papa, sa ilang close family friend, nga welcome kay sa balay. Unya, here, here she is after 50 years crying in front of me because 
as if it happened yesterday. My point is, our fathers have wounded us in our childhood. Maskig mamatay na na imong papa, o kamatiyo nun na ka, may numduman ganing to ni mga trauma, you will still cry. And we don't want these traumas to burden us or afflict us all our lives. We need to release them in forgiveness. I don't care. Tingnan ka nga, Pastor, wa ka kabalo on sa ikibuhat sa akong papa sa ako. As Christians, Jesus told us to forgive. Hello? Say with me, forgive. Some of the most painful human issues uh, issues in human life are inflicted by fathers, especially during child. The effects of fatherless are equally damaging. It produces the orphan spirit. I'm going to talk about a little bit about the orphan spirit. This spirit will compel the Christian to move on indep independent, compel the Christian to move, move on independent of the Father, Heavenly Father. Meaning, maski Christian na ka, kay tungod naanad ka nga dili magsalig sa imong papa, pag Christian na ka, gireceive lang ni mo si Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Pero pag abot sa Father, murag, ang imong pagtanaw sa papa kay, murag ano, judger. Kadalag bunal. Diri lang ko ni Jesus. But, John 14:6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the way. Dalan. Kisa na igaagi og dalan din eh. Pag uli na to, muagi tag dalan. Amen? Magstay ba ka sa dalan? Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father. Meaning, Jesus will lead us the way he will lead a life of example as a son that we should follow. And then our destination is, He will bring us to the Father. This is a season where we will experience the revelation of the goodness of the Father. Once you get this, I'm telling you, magligid-ligid ka og hilak. Not because grabe ka sakit, because Grabe ka maayo ang ginoo sa imo. Now, the orphan spirit that has been produced because of our earthly fathers, okay, madala ni nato. Kung sa ganitong characteristic of a good father, loving, comforting, provider, kung sa ganing to, sa ganito dyo, Huh? Loving, comforting, protector, provider, o guider. guider. <laughs> he is the father who guides and gives us wisdom. Okay? Now, each of us have been forgiven of an... Next slide, madam. Each of us has been forgiven of an incomparable debt by the Father through Jesus. Having released freely, the Father commands us to release those who owe us, those who have sinned against us. First and foremost, our fathers. Kung naman ganay number one nga nakasala sa ato, you may not know, that, know it, you may not realize it, but it's our fathers. Nasakitan po kung ayo sa akong papa. Next slide, please. Come as little children. Forgiveness is, padayan madam, it's not something we do for other people. We do it for ourselves to get well and move on. You know, this is what I have felt. When I start to forgive, Something was lifted in me. Yeah, I heard it. I realized, "Hala, na di to sa ako." 
And all along, it was there. Now, it's up to you. I don't know what your situation is. What's your history with your father? I don't know how your father has hurt you or abused you. I don't know. Regardless, the Lord said to release forgiveness. And this is our goal, main goal for tonight. We have to release forgiveness to our earthly father. <clears throat> no earthly father could ever complete us. Only the father's love can fill the void in our hearts. The more we embrace the father's love, the more we are secure in this life. I'm praying that you would begin to understand how much the father loves you. I'm telling you, if the, the Father will speak to you right now, kung unsa gid ang iyang complete plan for your life, you will not have the ability to accept it because it's so great and it's so amazing na makaingon ka, how can you trust me like this, uh, with this Lord God? Nobody has trusted me like this. Even my father or my mother said nga, dili ko, dili ko, dili ko inana ka gwapo, dili ko inana ka maayo. Pero here comes our Heavenly Father, Misha, you can do this. This is my plan. This is what I want you to do. This is where I will bring you. Unless we understand how much the Father loves us, we cannot receive the goodness of the Father. First step, forgive your earthly fathers. First step, Forgive your earthly fathers. Now, kana imong side, upat upat na, upat upat lang, talikod lang mo, or unsa ba dyan? Kanyang first row, talikod. Ang third row, talikod. O, ang sa talikod. Upat upat lang, okay? And then, go through the two questions, okay? I will give you five minutes. Be quick. Number one, nga question, okay? Isultira na ni mo, number one to six, okay? You don't need to go in details, okay? Some of these things are very sensitive. Social distance lang, masudlan on dyan, ito dire. Number one question, what kind of father do you have or do you had? Sakto ba ng grammar? Imong tubag anak kay one, two, three, four, five, six lang. All of the above? <laughs> Very simple, and then the next question is, are you willing to pray a blessing and release forgiveness to your earthly father? <laughs> 